Hi, hello, welcome everybody. It's Pip here from queenpipcards.com. Welcome to my Moody Monday pick me up video. Hopefully you can all hear me okay. I'm, not, I'm croaky again this morning. It must be a Monday thing, or this afternoon even. It must be a Monday thing. I get croaky on a Monday. <clears throat> Probably because I don't talk very much apart from to Sean on a, on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Please drop a comment in the uh, comments. Tell us where you're watching from and uh, whether you're joining us for the first time today or whether you've been here before. Uh, it's lovely to hear from you and find out all about you. Hi, happy Monday, Paula. Lovely to see you. Excellent. 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 Um, so, yeah, it is Monday. Uh, it is the 25th of July. Can you believe it? Oh, Laura's joining us for a, in her office for a quick lunch break. I like that. OK, we're going to get we're going to get going cracking really quickly um, so that people have time to, to watch during their lunch. And that's the reason why I do this on a Monday, because it is um, nice to just have a bit of a pickup on a Monday. Right. Because Mondays can be a bit moody. Um, so I decided to do this on a Monday and then cheer everybody up with some crafting for the week. Um, hello, we've got somebody from Gloucester. I can't see your name. You're coming in from one of my groups, which means you have to allow StreamYard to have access to your um, uh, access to your name. Otherwise, it doesn't know who you are. But hello from Gloucester. I will jump back onto the group afterwards and then I'll know who it is who's watching. Um, hello, hello. We've got uh, we've got Martha here. We've got Linda. Denise is on. My day's going all right. Thank you very much, Denise. Yes, it's better every time I come live on here. So today we're going to be focusing on some fun note cards. Uh, I often do a note card as a prelude to another card, but we have such gorgeous note cards at the moment. Now, I am going to I'm going to caveat this, though. They um, oh, it's Katie. Hello, Katie. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> I don't know why I asked last year. How weird. Um, so in this month is celebration, this month and next month. OK, and in here there are some fantastic free cards and envelopes. Now, I am going to apologise straight away. Um, they're here, these ones. Oops, where am I? There. I'm going to apologise straight away because they've already sold out in everywhere apart from Europe. As far as I'm aware, we can still get them. Um, which is quite nice, actually. It's unusual for us to still have stuff that other people haven't haven't used or haven't not haven't used but haven't sold out of. Um, so they're really good little note cards, actually. And I thought, well, it would be quite nice to use those. They actually coordinate with the Splendid Day Suite, which is in the main catalogue. So I'm going to flick over now, flick my flick over to this one, put my lights on. Let's give you some cards to have a look at. Hi, Ange. Hi, Jane. Nice to see you. Get a bit more light on the subject. There we go. Got a bit more light now. OK, so these are the cards that I'm talking about. Pool Party and Soft Sea Foam cards and envelopes. I mean, two of my favourite colours in the Subtles range. I love Pool Party and Soft Sea Foam. And you can see they've got some here that they've designed, like ultra fancy ones here. Um, they're definitely more fancy than I'm doing. I'm just going to let you know that. <laughs> uh, but if you want to, if you want to fancy it up, you certainly can. So I've used this. Um, this was one of the, it was the, the suite, should I say, that we used in one of our Stampin' Up! things. Um, we have events and they did a creativity one and they used this suite. So I got it as part of that. And I probably wouldn't have got it otherwise. It's one of those that I'm like, mm, okay, not sure. Uh, but actually, I really like it. Hi, Julie, over from Oz. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. So I've used it for a couple of things. So I'll show you the ones that we made on the Creativity Day because they're not my necessarily my style because they were made, you know, these were the ones that they designed for us to make. Although I quite like that one. I do like that one. That's very, that's very me. OK, so that's quite nice. Um, and then there was this one, which actually I do love very much, even though it's very fancy. Then I made a couple of different ones, which are much more me, sort of simpler ones. And then I went all out on this one. It's just a bit different using a different paper completely uh, for that one. So these are the cards that I've already made, but these are normal A6 size cards in the UK, or they would be your normal A2 size cards in North, Amer North America. Um, and they're really pretty and they're really nice. And, you know, they're 
beautiful cards um but they're bit they but they but they are uh, quite in depth there's quite a lot of stuff going on apart from this one this is probably the easiest one and i quite like that very much for that particular reason um so I thought I would get us going with maybe some less busy examples, because I think sometimes if you see busy and you're like me and you're a simple stamper, then you think, oh, I can't I can't use that because it's it's too busy. So I'm going to show you how I work with detailed dies and some note cards to make some quite simple cards. Um, now, my detailed dies, I've got some here that I've already done. I, I try normally to put adhesive sheets on the back but guess who forgot to put adhesive sheets on the back of these ones <laughs> so we'll not be using adhesive sheets on the back of these but that's fine i can show you how to do that um but i then have cut some cardstock and vellum and i have put some adhesive sheets on the back of these already so we're going to be using those pretty ones and another one if i can find out where it's gone there it is so we're going to be using those. Do you remember last week I did the greens? I did green, green and white. Well, funnily enough, one of the card bases here is another green. So I thought, oh, I could try that again, see how that goes, because I thought it went quite well last time. So but first of all, we're going to start off with a pool party card base. And apologies if you can hear the banging. Yep, my neighbours are still demolishing their house and rebuilding it. He said he'll be done in four weeks, or at least the exterior will be done in four weeks. Um, now, this is one of the papers from the Splendid Day Suite, which <laughs> the papers are just stunning. Let me show you. These are, they're all foiled for a start. OK, so let's show you these. So as you can see, they're all foiled, which means they're very bright. Let me hold, hide that there for a second. This one's a coppery colour. Oops, no, you show it this way. It's kind of copper. It's a bit hard to tell in these lights, but it is a copper tone, that one. Hi, Joe. This one is, um, ugh, so many lights on in this place to get you good lighting. This one's like a, I want to say it's a dark, fresh freezer. It's it's like a, a, a purpley colour. Okay, gorgeous. This one's silver which is also lovely, okay, and hard to see. Uh, and then, then we've got this one that is like a matte. I like this one because it's shiny. It's like a satin sheen with white over it. And there are little tiny ladybirds hidden in the design, which is quite cute, or ladybugs as they call them in the US. Uh, and then there's this one, which is yet again another copper, copper one. And on the back, they've got beautiful, um, beautiful patterns as well. This is Calypso Coral, Pool Party, which matches the envelopes from the cards, uh, Crumb Cake, we've got Fresh Freesia, and then again, a light Calypso Coral with, um, I'd probably say that's nearly Pale Papaya in the background there. So they are beautiful. They're also quite hard to work with on camera because they're all so shiny so i'm just working with tiny pieces today just so that we can try not to blind everybody because otherwise it gets a bit blindy um, and then i will try and take some pictures that actually show all of the the foils but even stamping up have trouble showing all foils it's hard to show mirror stuff shiny stuff Okay, so I'll pop those out the way for a minute. So I've got my, I'm going to do one of my standard layers. Now, these are slightly smaller than the UK version cards. Hey, Wendy, nice to see you. Oh, and Joe, did I say hello to Joe? Joe's here too. Excellent. Um, so they're slightly smaller than a traditional A6 size card and slightly wider. Um, these are basically a US size. So if I just check that, this should be five and a half by four and a quarter. So this is your standard US A2 size card. For UK and everyone else in the world, it's just a little bit wider and it's about a centimetre shorter than our normal A6. Okay, so the measurements are different. But the layout I'm going to do is one that you've seen me do time and again. I love this layout and it's so simple. I've either got a Scotty dog or a happy birthday to a classic. Let's do happy birthday to a classic. It's easier on the eye. So the, for these ones, I've decided to use 
the pool party, obviously. And I've also pulled out Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay. But it does also work with soft sea foam. So I might sort of sprinkle those in. But I just want to do something very pale to start off with. So I'm going to do a tone on tone stamping. And I'm going to use the Coastal Cabana and then bring in, whoops, she says, sliding ring pants away, bring in the Splendid Thoughts stamp set. Okay, so we'll just start off with a bit of stamping. And I love this one going up here. I think it's a eucalyptus, I'm assuming. Uh, and the, the things that they've got that fill in don't actually fill in the whole set of the uh, leaves, which I quite like. And it's got some great um, sending hugs, let's celebrate. Today is a day to remember. Much love in your new life together. And there's a cute little bee. Who doesn't love a cute little bee? Although I will say, and this is just a personal thing, and I don't know if Stampin' Up! are listening to me, but a f personal thing is they look more like wasps than bees. And I think it must be an American bee thing. Like your bees must look like that. Ours are much plumper over here and furry. So they're much cuddlier over here. <laughs> um. So, yeah, it's um, it's, it's just an American versus a UK thing, I think. Uh, and then the dies that we've got that go along with these. Look at that. So they've got ones that cut out the shapes and then they've got all these detailed other dies. So we get the bee cut out, the, fl the big leaves and the eucalyptus. <clears throat> and then you get all of these like frondy bits, as I call them, and a label, which is a cute label, a bit different from normal. So we get lots of great dies, which we're going to be using a little bit later. In fact, we might even throw one on now, but we'll just start off with this. Oh, I need my stamp sets back again. Uh, hi, Debbie. OK, someone's asked. Ah, this is a good this is a good question. Will they work better with the rectangular rectangle stitched dies then? I can tell you the answer to that. It will be yes. Uh, or with the scallop dies. So they do they do try and look after us, but sometimes they're not quite the right size. But this one fits perfectly. Oops. So let's hide that a second. So yes, here's the second largest rectangle stitch die and you can see it fits with a perfect border around it. The larger one, ugh, I think, covers almost the entire sheet. Yes, you get, mm, I, I don't think that one works quite so well. I think that one works best, better for us because it's it's still it's still not quite right. If you make it even, you've got a wider border at the bottom. But the second one in, for sure, works better. And I would imagine that the scallop contour dies are the same. I'm going to get those sorted out later. I'm just going to pop them back in there for now and get those out of the way. So, yeah, it, it, you know, a lot of dies that you purchase. Oh, steady. Sorry. Um are made for the American market and so therefore they're made for American sizing and so you know quite a lot of our um, stamps that we have and mainly dies that we have don't necessarily fit perfectly for UK markets but you know what I've learned to live with that and learned to work out how to do the um, just do a design that works with that OK, so let's get stamping. So we're going to use the Coastal Cabana. I'm coming over here. I'm coming down here or up here, should I say, and then just bringing it in from here. And then I'll bring that one across like that. So it's just stamped a bit randomly on there. So it's just to sort of give some extra tone. And then I'm using the pool party, which matches with the um, the actual card base itself. You can see I've inked, re-inked my pool. Can you see it around? Maybe you can't actually. I can see that I've re-inked my pool party. And it's I've got a few blotches over it, but that's OK. So I'm just going to double check that that's stamping OK. Yeah, that's fine. That is actually meant to stamp like that. Uh, so now you need to work out roughly, where's the top? There's the top. 
Yeah, see, they don't really fit any of these, as far as I can tell. Even if we go in with that, that's not going to work. It might kind of work that way. Hold on, let's do this. Sort of. And I guess you could turn it upside down and do the other one. But they sort of they're sort of random. They're not supposed to be matching with the uh, stamp set at all, really. Which I find a bit weird, I have to say. I'm much more of a matching girl. Do you know what I mean? So I find that very odd. But apparently it's in. I don't know. I'd prefer it if my stamps actually did match my stamps. I mean, I guess oh, maybe that way would be a bit better. Yeah, maybe that way would, would be better. Let's turn that over and start that again. I think I've got that. I think I had it upside down. So let's just do this. Let's try this again. Because I don't like... That's why I've not used it so far, because I'm like, I don't like the way it doesn't stamp the whole thing. But, you know, I'm all one for giving things a go. So we'll just... But I thought, well, I'll give it a go with these because they've got lovely backgrounds on them. Let's see if I can get a few more in here. There we go. All right. So now let's try this. Hmm. Well, sort of, I suppose. <laughs> Who likes the random look? Anybody like the random look? I mean, it kind of goes. Oh, and I've just done it in the Calypso in Coastal Cabana. How silly is that? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, this can't start in well. <laughs> oh, dear me. Let's add a few pool party ones in. Maybe you'll know the difference. It'll be fine. Oh, that was loud. Sorry about that. I had the wrong ink pad in front of me. See if we can't add just a few extra pool party ones. Okay. Actually, they look quite good doing that that way. Oh, I've added a spot, but we'll cover that up. So there we go. So now we've got some coastal cabana and some pool party. My pool party is dark because I've just re-inked it. So it's not quite so light as it used to be. Right, so then what I've got is I've got my silver strip. Uh, so it'll have that lovely mirrored finish. There we go. No, not really, says Joe, and and Jane doesn't like it either. I know, it's a bit odd, isn't it? It's a bit odd. I do, however, love them just as line art. Do you know what I mean? I think they're just lovely as line art. So I'm, I might just keep going with the line art. Kind of with you girls on that. Right. So I'll pop this on. Just to get it up a smidge. I need to trim this a smidge. I think I've done this a bit large. I always tend to cut slightly large so that I can trim down as necessary. Then I'm going to use my seal because this is um, foil. So we don't want it... Um, having glue lines on it, which you can get when you use multi-purpose glue. And then we'll pop that on here. Just like this. No, oh, that's too big. Mm. Oh, I'm not doing well with this card at all. Look at that. I need to take this all off. Thankfully, with seal, you can just about get it off if you're quick because I left the longer line at the bottom. Right, so put this in with that. Come on, do it in line with that, like so. And this will come down in line with that, like so. And then I can just trim that bit off at the bottom, which is what I wanted to do with my gluey scissors, because I always leave an overhanging piece just a bit. So I know I don't go short because there's nothing worse than going short. There we go. 
Right, okay, so that's that. I have to say I'm not enamoured necessarily of that splotchy thing, but we're going with it and we'll we'll fix it, I promise you. Right, so now I've got some labels here that we can use, various die cut pieces, various things. We'll see which ones fit best. I love doing this. I just, oh no, that, that's not that's not a label thing. Just get out all the things that I've got and then see which one will work. Circles. Yeah, I think they're a bit big, but let's just bring those in anyway for later. Right. So, hi Mary, you're joining us just as we're about to finish the first card. Okay, so that's that. Now, I do want to add, I've decided, some of these nice things because it, it needs something to survive. To, to bring it out now these are in copper and i know i did the other bit in silver but metallics tend to go with each other fairly well so it doesn't really matter that you've used you can use mixed metallics is what i'm trying to say okay i'm just going to get this out come on oops oh, that's got itself stuck into that one there we go so pop out all the bits that are in the middle I'm not going to leave any of those in this time. I like it looking like that. I want a label that's going to sort of come across at the bottom here and hide that sort of smushy bit. So we can have some leaves coming out the top there. That looks quite good. In fact, if we've got some... Let's see if we do these other leaves. We can pop these out the bottom. Actually, I quite like those with them, with them in. So we could make that... A little higher which I prefer and do that there we go look at that so now we just need a sentiment that's going to work with that hi Angela how are you uh, so I like this one because it says sending hugs which you know obviously is my kind of thing but also let's celebrate that looks quite good too I think both of those would work so we'll pop these on little blocks. Obviously, if you don't have as many blocks as I do, um, you just swap them around. So we're going to stamp that and we're going to stamp that in the Coastal Cabana. Bring those tones together. And I'm thinking, I think let's celebrate. Some reason this one's a bit bouncy so i'm going to hold it down yep there we go that works then on the back of this i'm going to use my seal and we're going to attach these because i want them in a very specific place to hide that little blotchy bit that i didn't like so we'll do that and we'll just gently touch down and that should be enough to stick those. Turn them over. Now we can put on dimensionals or foam pads of some sort. Now, those who know me well know that I don't like soggy middles. I also don't like soggy um, embellishment pieces. And these ones are actually not attached because I've cut them out. So I'm going to use... This is a great way of using your Stampin' Dimensionals to actually hold in elements that have been die cut if you want to keep them in. This one doesn't have any in, so I'm not worried about that. But these will help to hold those pieces in place. Okay, there we go. Let's get rid of that rubbish. Now I know where this is going. Everything else sort of falls into place. There we go. So that's the first of our simple stamping note cards, but with a little bit of die cutting involved. I like that. Not quite sure about the background, but I quite like the actual layout and how it's come together. So let's do some with less of that funny stuff. <laughs> 
blobby stuff because we all agree we're not quite so sure about that as um, other people might like. So let's go now to this one. This is a soft seafoam one. And again, you can see it's got those lined sort of uh, flowers on. Now you can see that the, oh, hopefully you can see that they're not quite the same. So this soft seafoam and this soft seafoam sheen it's not quite the same, but I quite like that because it's a bit of a, a bit of a contrast and yet sort of the same tone. Ah, oh, see, Paula loves the background. There you go. There's always one who loves the background. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. Okay, so we'll pop that in. Paula, you very much like lots and lots of background stamps, and I think yours, you you are a genius with that. So I'm glad you like it. OK, this time I'm keeping this one here and I like it. I don't know if you can see that. See, there's the ladybug right there or the ladybird, um, as we call them. So we'll pop that on there. So this is sort of a similar but slightly different layout. And this one, I want to do a few more of those die cuts. I'm going to get my mini out in a minute. There we go. Again, starting from the top, working down, and if there is any left, trimming it off. It's just a tiny smidge at the bottom here. If you follow along the line, you're going to get it right. Okay, so that's that. Now, what are we going to put on here? I think what I'd like to put on here is one of these larger circles, maybe a, or maybe a small, or maybe a square actually, because that fits nicely on there. Let's do a square. We'll do a little bit of stamping, not much, just a little bit of stamping, because I want to add more of the uh, die cuts to these. Now, because this is soft sea foam, and because I want to um, stamp over the image that I'm stamping, I'm going to use soft sea foam ink, so it's quite pale. So we'll put that down and this time I'm going to get out this large, large from the flowery piece. Actually, does need that? Get a D pick out. There we go. Should fit on the D. Should I do it sideways ish? There we go. Okay, so I've got some that's gorgeous and love the background. Okay, so I'm I'm not sure if it's this background that we're talking about now or the other one because you guys might be a little bit behind. All right, let's see. Just because it depends on when you join the Facebook or the YouTube. Let's just pop this on here, like so. There we go. And see, that's quite an, a, a nice lightly defined stamp on there which means I can then stamp straight over the top of it with another colour and because we're now looking at soft sea foam which is more green than pool party that's more bluey I'm going to go with shaded spruce and we're going to send some hugs because we love sending hugs I like giving hugs more than sending hugs but some days you know depending on where you are and whether you can get up See, now I was hoping that was straight, but it's not. Grr. I have to do that one again. Oh, I could add one on top. could add one on top. Where's my oval? Actually, oval that might look, that might look nice. Uh, so my, my um, stamp wasn't particularly straight. So sometimes when you look at it, it looks straight, but when you stamp it, it actually isn't straight. It's just off slightly. It's my eyes as well. It doesn't help. So I'm going to go for a piece of card. card. Stamping that again. This time. I'm going to... Too high. I always do this. 
jump it too high. Come on, down here. Thank you. Right, there we go. Now I'm cutting it out with this. See, and we can fix everything because we can just pop that on top like that. It's not quite as nice as if you do it straight on, but it's okay. <laughs> the paper with the ladybug. Yes, it's so cute, that, isn't it? Right, right. So now we can we can layer this one up. And it's not bad, but it's not quite right. Um, and I would notice. So, you know, if you notice, fix it. Either do it again or work it out that's what I say okay so we're going to pop that on there so that it is now straight okay. just sticking over a little bit so they know it's done on purpose because obviously it is then this one will go in there and then let's put some more of these frondy bits on I'm sure there's a better term than frondy bits I mean they're leaves really but I just I don't know, I like calling them frondy bits. So just pick them out from here. There we go. And again, you can decide whether you want to keep the pieces in or not. And for this one, I want to put them, where do I want them? I might have them coming out from this side here. That looks better. Maybe underneath. Yeah, I kind of want them coming out here, I think, since they both match. Don't know why I'm taking that off camera. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> just peeling them out. Peeling them out. Okay. Now the question is, do I want them in copper or do I want them in coloured card? And this is a question that really you have to sort of play around and decide. Because it's it's actually quite coppery in comparison to that white background. So you might want to do some other ones. So let's play with dyes. So what I've done is I have created some cards like some pre-stickied stuff here this is one i used earlier for forever um, fern um, but it's got adhesive sheets on the back basically and that means that when you die cut from the front they become automatically self-sticky like um, double-sided sticky on the back so i love doing that i've got some vellum and some um, party party something and spruce spruce. So let's, let's get the dies out from wherever I put them. Let's get the dies out. And let's start cutting out a few of these. Then we can see what we like and what we don't like. So I think this needs to be cut down a little bit. I don't think that one's going to quite get through the mini. So just make sure that you've got it on the actual adhesive piece. Stick it in place with a bit of washi. Then we can do some of these. Sometimes I like them so the tops are actually not stuck. So they get a, a little bit of lift. So the bottom piece is stuck and the top piece isn't. That's also quite a nice way of doing these um, dies. Then we can have just some outline pieces, which might look quite nice in soft sea foam as well. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's not helping at all. Come on, stick. Need some new washi, obviously. Let's try. Let's try this piece of washi stick. There we go. That's better. Need another bit over there then. Okay, and then we've got this very large um, shape here, which we can also put through. I'm just trying to work out which is the best way out of cutting out of cardstock. 
I must I, I like to be a little bit frugal sometimes, like the rest of you. I know what you like. So we'll pop this in here. Okay. So pull your mini out. I just want to try with different ones and different colours, and then we'll see which ones we think are best. You can advise me which ones you think are best. But I do love love a detailed die because it can really add something to your card making oh i don't know uh, slightly too big slightly too big let me just chop this side off no let's chop the other side off okay Ugh. made it slightly too wide Okay. Here we go. <laughs> no, it's not just you that's tight, Joe, honestly. <laughs> right, here we go. So now, as I pull this one out, well, that bit stuck down good in the end. Look at that. That's really stuck down well. Okay. Okay, so now you can see it's all attached inside the die. But if you just use your poke tool, you can get that out. And the little dots are where the end of the die is actually sitting in the die. The bigger expanses are normally the bits that are coming out of the die, if you know what I mean. So there's that one. That's pretty, isn't it? Right, let's run these three. Hopefully I haven't made these two too big. Yeah, maybe they'll fit through. Perfect. Right. Sometimes I find that the that the washi gets better after a couple of a couple of um, uses. Other times you need to be um, you need some new stuff. Just depends on the tape, I think. Run through them, what we can do now we can decide which I'm thinking soft sea foam it'll be because it'll be soft, soft, soft sea foam, which will look really nice. So, so let's see, but let's but let's see. We don't know until we try. Okay, so carefully peel this off because you want to be able to use the rest of that card for more die cutting. And if you get a few lines and stuff left by the washi in your cardstock, with detailed dies, it really doesn't matter because the chances are that that's going to be on a piece that's not going to show anyway because it will just be coming out of the die. Okay, so that's those two. And then these ones, I don't think we really have to worry about. Take that off, take that off. So see these little dots here? This is actually where, whoops, she says flicking it off. This is actually where you're going to get the die out rather than the, the bigger pieces. See those bigger pieces are just where um, the bits are going to fall out. It's the lines. The lines are hidden behind those holes. So that's just a quick tip of using detail dies. I do have a, my brush extension, which I can put on the end of my take your pick as well if you fancy that um, but generally for speed I find that a little pokey thing works just as well unless you've got masses a little pokey thing is fine come on it's coming well, there we go. so this, this one is a bit messy in terms of it leaves bits all over the place, but I'll slide this. You can either keep them to put in if you want, if you want, you want, if you want to, or you can just bin them. Sadly, you can't recycle them once they've got glue on the back of it because it's glue, right? I don't think you can recycle those then. Okay, so now we've got our square sending hugs. Now we can have a look and see 
Oh, see, I think it does look good with these. Looks good with stickies. I don't think it needs that one. Might look good with one of those and one of those. What do we think? I'm going to hide the ladybird. I think just those two looks fab, actually. In fact, it's really more this one, I'm thinking, than the other. We might just do another one of those. See how that looks. That looks quite nice coming out the side of there, actually. Oh, yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? What do you think? You liking this one? Two looks lovely. Yeah, I think we need two, but I'm thinking we need two of these. So let's just do another one of those. Or vellum. Oh, could be a vellum. Could be vellum. Let's try one with a vellum. You know I love to add a bit of vellum to my projects. As I say, this doesn't have to be perfectly um, glued all the way around. This is a good way of adding glue to vellum because it's completely covering like the whole die. So you won't see any of the joins. So I'm just going to see what it looks like with a bit of vellum. Otherwise, we'll go back to a soft sea foam. But I am liking the thought of vellum. Now it looks whiter at the moment because it's got on it, on it. It's got the adhesive sheets on the back. But don't be fooled; it will look more, much more like vellum when you take the adhesive sheet off. So just be. You know, don't look at it and think, oh, that's white. That looks lovely because it will actually look um, much more vellum -y by the time we get the, the piece off. But I do think that would like that. That looks nice. I like that. OK, so this piece is going to go flat. This piece is going to come in under here so it can stick under there. That piece is going to go under here to so position where we, want, where we want it to be which is about there, then we can, oh, is it about there or is it more over? Or did I have that a minute ago? A bit, a bit more over, didn't I? Don't worry over there, don't worry over there. There we, there we go, on it about there. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so now we peel the vellum off the back of this. If you haven't got fingernails, or if your fingernails are not working like mine today then you can just take your you should take your pick and it'll bend it back and you can peel it off and it also gives you the added value of it's now sticking to your take your pick tool so you can maneuver it around to where you want it so we can just slide it in under there and say yep that's where we want it to be and that'll stick that bit down. What have I just dropped off the... Oh, rats, I've just lost one of my... <laughs> one of my stamps has just fallen down the back of my desk and I'm not going to be able to get that back today. <laughs> not while we're on the thing. So I don't think we'll be able to send any hugs anymore because I've just gone for a walk down the back of my desk. Oh, don't you love it when it happens? Honestly, I'm not having good luck today with technology and just general stuff. Maybe it's telling me I should just quit while I'm ahead. But no, I like that. So we're going to pop that on there. And take this off. Don't you just love it when that happens? When so and I'm gonna, if I'm not careful, I'll forget that that's where it is. And then I'll be like, where's that stamp? <laughs> You'll have to remind me, Pip, you chucked it down the back of your desk. Now, if you held it up high enough, you can, ooh, come on, just get that in there. Lovely. See? See? Is that pretty? Yeah, that's pretty. And so you can't tell on the vellum that it's got glue on the back. 
looks just like any other kind of vellum. All right, so I think I would put some gems on this though, because we do need a bit of sparkle in our lives. So I'm going to go with my iridescent. These are my go to these days iridescent pearls. If in doubt, put a pearl on it, is what I'm saying, because these are white, you see. I like them because they're, I, I always like pearls, but they're always vanilla ish, creamy. And I, I'm much more of a white card maker. I love white. But these, these work beautifully. Put one in there. Put one over there. Just have one sort of coming up here so you sort of get drawn to that little ladybug there. There we go. So now we have that one to add to our first one which had the weird background on it. So now we've got those two. Hey darling. There, it's nice to nice to have you join us. Hello. So we've got that one and we've got that one. Fab. Okay, so now probably for my last one, because it's already caught past one. So probably for my last one today, I wanted to do, do you remember I said last week, that I had seen this picture in a magazine and it was all white and greens. Do you remember when we did the white and green with the um, with Abigail Rose last week, which is my tutorial of the month. Um, so if you shop with me, you'll get your Abigail Rose 15 tutorials from friends around the world. Uh, you'll get that to play with. So and if you can't shop with me, you can buy the tutorial from me. So um, I just need to put it up. I still haven't got it up on my website yet, but it will be soon, I promise. Okay, so we've got some fairly bold colours. I want to do... also want to do some white. So this whole thing that I saw last the other week was... Um, Basically, basically, it was just it was just a photograph in um, what was it in? It was in uh, Surrey magazine, uh, Surrey online magazine. No, Surrey magazine because it's not online. I get it in the post, um, and it had this stunning arrangement of flowers that was just green and so white flowers and green foliage. Uh, with on on a white background, and it just it just hit me that it was a beautiful colour combination, and so we made some last week with Abigail Rose, and I just want to do that again today, using these because I think they would look lovely. So we'll just cut these ones out, and then I'm going to hardly do any stamping on this, but I do need to cut out one of these little circular pieces. I need to show you this what this looks like. So we'll do that. Somewhere I have. Oh, actually, yeah, I forgot. I've got some white that's actually got tape already on the back of it. So I'm going to cut this one out first. So this is going to be our vase as such, my little bowl. So it doesn't need to have um, adhesive sheets on the back of it. And the interesting thing about this is it creates stitching, but only on from here to here. It's probably easier if I turn it over and you can see. So the stitching is here to here. And then the rest of it, there's just a line. So it's just like a, an indented line all the way around. And then two little tiny bits of stitching on the side. I love it. It's a nice little detail piece, you know. Sometimes you just want something different. Right, where did I put that white one? Let's do this, because this has already got sticky on the back. So we'll do this. Okay. What's people's thoughts on detailed dyes? Do you love them? Do you hate them? 
Some people hate them. Um, are they the best of your existence? <laughs> or, do, or do you actually using them? I them. I'd love to know. I think, it's, I think these are fun note cards and it says you're having to, I mean, you're going to do the faff of die cutting and stuff. So if you use note cards, you don't actually have to also then cut all your card stock up, etc. So that can be a bonus. But only if you really like using lots of detailed dies. If you don't, then I'm guessing these cards are not for you. <laughs> and if you're just starting your card making journey and all this seems a little bit hard, then you need to come and join my card making know-how membership. I've got news on that note. We are relaunching on the 22nd of August. There you go. I've said the date. Now it has to happen. 22nd of August, we will open the doors to my card making know-how membership. In there, you will find a step-by-step -step way of learning all of the card making tips and tricks, um, techniques, how, how to do everything from stamping for the very first time through to advanced stamping techniques, all the way through die cutting for the very first time, things to look out for, how to use your die cutting machines, all of that, plus um, all the all the different types of inks, how to watercolour, how to do, oh, I haven't done that one, put that one back, there. how to do watercolouring, how to use stamping blends or alcohol markers, Plus other fun things like alcohol inks are coming, um, going to be coming up in there. What else have I got? Oh, I've got other, other bits and pieces going, but it's literally step by step. So you go from a beginner card maker, how to cut cardstock sizes for both North America and the rest of the world. So it covers all of your most commonly used um cardstock bases and all that kind of stuff and all the mats and layers that you would want to create so all of that stuff is in there how to watercolor as i say the, how to design like how to actually do design so you don't have to be stuck or how or lose your crafty mojo so you're never stuck again for how to start off designing a card that you're after uh, so you spend less hours trawling through Pinterest and more hours actually doing what you want to do, which is making cards. So designed by me, it's been up and running for a year. So it's been test driven. I've got great feedback for it. And um, I'm revamping at the moment, moving things around, making it so that there's like little mini courses at every step. So it's much easier for you to follow through from step to step to step. I'd love to have you come and join us. And I'm keeping the price low because I know, you know, money's tight for quite a lot of people at the moment. You can join from anywhere in the world, but you'll it, it is a UK price, but it'll just then, you know, work out what it is in your local currency. Um, and it's going to be 15 pounds a month to join. So I think it says 14 99 at the moment, but I'm just going to round it up to 15 because it just makes it easier for everybody. So, yeah, that's how much it's going to be this time. Won't be this price again in the future. It will add more, add more, and you to rise, to rise because you'll be getting value. So if you want to join and stay locked in at that price, now's the time to do so. You can join my waiting list. You just go to queenpipcards.com forward slash CMKH, which stands for Card Making Know How, or go to cardmakingknowhow.com. Both of those will take you to my wait page where you can sign up and be on my waiting list, and I will let you know as soon as it's open. Right, but for now, let us finish off this card. Okay, we've got some good comments coming. So, Julie so, says so she likes says she likes the detailed dies and likes using them. Think it makes the card look pretty. I agree. And then Mary says that she loves detailed dies. So stop my cards looking too amateurish. Okay, I mean I think some cards can be beautiful with just simple stamping on um, and not look amateurish. But I do know what you mean. Sometimes you just want something that lifts it a little bit. 
and that's where detail dyes I think come in. Okay, so we're going to go with the green background and I'm going to create a little var, well, like a little trough of flowers, leaves and things, bearing in mind that this is all starting from this green and white display. So it's going to be very green and white. <laughs> we might actually need to stamp some stuff here as well. Let's see. So I like that. I like that. We could sort of have these as our two big pieces. And then we can add in some, that's vellum, so that's going to be very pale. And some white. I'm wondering if we need some more solid. I think we need a, a more solid flower. And then this is going to come in under here, see? So we're creating like a little bucket. It's a bowl of flowers, isn't it? Oh, and we could add a little touch of this in as well. I think it definitely needs a touch of dark. And I think a bit more white. So let's do some more stamping. But we can keep it really pale. So we can use a piece of white cardstock. And we can stamp this one. I think this one. I think it would be too much if we did the other one. I think it would be too big. So we'll do this and we'll do this in soft sea foam, wherever it is. There we go. And then die cut it out. So it's almost white, but with a touch of soft sea foam to match that background. There we go. It's got a bit pink in the middle there. Um, I need to clean that again. I think my, I think my scrub is dirty. My scrub is dirty, so let's do... If my scrub is dirty, I go with a microfiber cloth. Just try and get the remnants of the old ink out of there. Normally my scrub's perfect with it, but... I must have picked up a bit of red on there somewhere. I have to wash my scrub which I do by running it under the shower head in the bath, just in case you're interested. That's a bit better. That's a cleaner cream. All right, so then we'll use this cutout die. And I try and line up the top here. And then there is a little hole down here, which you can't see from where you are, but there's a little hole which does actually line up with the stamping. stamping. So as long as that's got stamped bits in it, you probably know you're on the right path. Now this time I'm going to make sure that my tape goes on the outside. We don't want it damaging at all, the stamping, although to be honest it doesn't normally do that. Pop that through. I think we just need something like this in the middle. Might not even need all of it, but just maybe a couple of them poking over the top of that. It does also come with a lovely soft sea foam ribbon, but I don't know what I've done with it. I can't actually get to my ribbons at the moment. No, nope, not a hope of getting to my ribbons at the moment. I've got so much stuff down here. I'm doing cards for retreat and then paper parties coming up. Oh, which reminds me, it's nearly nearly time to, well, it's, all, it's definitely time to book in for Paper Party. Um, closing date is in a week and a half, a week on Friday. So definitely book that in if you want to. Can't believe we're there already. Stampin' Extravaganza for my demo friends, that's also available. So I'm just busy doing a lot of design work at the moment and getting the membership ready. Well, see, that's nice, isn't it? That just adds that. See, you just need that sort of soft, that um, more solid piece in the middle. That's the word I'm looking for. And then we can go with some more, I think we'll do some more white on this side. Some shaded spruce coming in here. And then this vellum we can just tuck behind wherever we think we need some. Okay, so that's how I want it to look. 
So now I'm going to peel off the bits and put it on in the layers. Okay. So we know we want that to be sort of there-ish. So now I can go in. Now if you've got a few bits that are left open, you can use those to start off your peeling. So let's see, let me think about there-ish, don't we? Somewhere around there. Always, always, if it's not quite the same, it doesn't really matter. Again, this one's only half adhered, so that's good. That means these are going to waft around. I like wafty bits. But this was definitely our piece that went next. Sort of overlapping a little. Okay. Then we can put in our white. I think that went all the way. Put the white in. This might then scatter all those pieces out of it. It's fine. As I say, you can always put them back in if you want to, but I'm taking them off. Put this in over here, like so. Then let's do the dark one. This is shaded spruce going on next. Hey, Teresa. That's lovely to see you. Thank you. I'm getting my floral arrangements on. <laughs> okay, so now that's going to come in there. And that's going to sit in there. Yeah, that, that's looking good. I can even come a little bit off. And then I think I'm going to put my vellum piece in here. to sort of mirror that piece really. There we go. So this one I'm going to stick down with minis, mini dimensionals. Uh, you can fit large ones in but I prefer to be a bit more specific about which bits I want to have down. I'm going to leave the top piece open so it's not attached so it can waft a bit. It's a technical term, wafting. <laughs> All right, how are we doing? We'll put this one in here. It kind of covers up those two together, but uh, it's going to have to be that, I think. Like so, and then we'll use this with large dimensionals. And this is going to go right over everything. So I'm going to make sure that it's, and because it's foil, it, it could bend a little bit. So we'll just make sure that that's got a good solid base underneath as it goes over those pieces. It's nice because it's a sort of a wide bowl shaped card. Pop that in there. Now I've moved everything I'd slightly over this way, so I might need something just in here. I don't know if I put in oh, that's not gonna go, is it? Hmm. I'll think. A piece of ribbon would look lovely in there, Pip, if you could only find your ribbon. Oh, is that it? Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, look at that. Look at that. See, this is the beautiful ribbon that goes with this. So see, I might just tuck a piece of ribbon in there. Maybe, maybe. Stick a little bow on it. This is soft sea foam. Um, what's it called? Seam, seam binding ribbon. But it's not a cotton seam binding. It's, it's more like the sheer. Probably a bit big as a as a bow. I think it'd look better just as a little. 
couple of little bits of ribbon coming out from there, I think. What do we think? I think so. I'm going to go for it and see. So I'm like that. Cut small. We'll use a little glue dot. How are we all? Thank you so much for hanging in there with me while I'm doing these. It's been, um, I know there's been a lot of die cutting, but I wanted to show you how I how I do my die cuts and stuff so that you you get the picture and how I use the adhesive sheets because we've been talking a, a lot about adhesive sheets in our um, in one of my groups so I thought it would be good to share that okay yeah see that looks nice doesn't it with just that little bit of ribbon I think it just just adds a touch of softness going out the side of that. I have no idea why you'd have ribbon coming out of a bowl, but hey, hey, it looks okay, so I'm running with it. Sometimes card making does not need to make sense. Okay. But see how lovely the greens look together? Again, not my colours. Where's the pink? Where's the purple? Angela will be in despair. But don't worry, normal service will be resumed shortly. Um, it's just that I saw this design um, photograph and I just thought it was so lovely and it would go really well with these so that's that and then what can we put on as a sentiment I would I would do sending hugs but I've thrown that out the back of the um at the back down the back of the uh craft desk so maybe a, today is a day to remember that might be quite nice could be anything really I think, I think it's supposed to be for a wedding or something but we could just on that on there that would look okay so let's do that in a i'm going to pull out the shaded spruce again it looks good it looks good with that <laughs> oh wendy that's so kind of you to say look at this uh see i love <laughs> you can carry on all afternoon if you want thank you i wish i could but i've got to go off to the physio this afternoon so um sadly i can't but um thank you for saying that there we go. Now I can get it straight. See, uh, and this I'm just going to tuck there like so, I think. So it just hops off the edge of the page. So I'll put a bit of glue along here and then I can, I can shove that along till it's where I want it to be. And I'll have to look up and make sure it's straight. Yep, that looks straight. Okay, then I'm going to just leave that a second once it's because it gives you a bit of wiggle room, the Tombow glue, which is great. Love having a bit of wiggle room. But cut that, that to see. Uh, it'll uh, it'll move. <laughs> so because it's got, and you, and you don't want that. So we'll just leave that a moment, and then now it's dry, we can go straight in there and chop that edge off. And then we have that, and then we can put some more pearls on. Yay! Because so, they go with silver because they're iridescent, so that's nice. So it works with that too. We'll put one, put one under there, a little one down here on that edge because it looks a bit harsh to me. And then we'll just add another one over here, like that. I can tuck another one in here for the in with the flowers. That's good couple in here just to give it a little bit of a sparkle when it moves there we go so oh i'm a little over i'm a little over my normal hour but hey ho god and it looks like a right mess on here i tell you i need to <laughs> i really need to tidy up <laughs> but don't worry i will do that after you have all gone because it's not fair to have you here while I'm tidying up. So the good news is that the that the envelopes are not, they're already designed. They're already um, stamped and printed with all these beautiful patterns on them and the inside are all, So you don't even need to, just, to do anything with your envelopes, which is great. So that, that's that one. Look, I've got a few little bits left over, which I can use on other cards. So the green might not have gone completely yet, I'm sorry. And then we did this one, which I quite, I like that one. I think that's a nice gentle card. I mean, I like all of them, 
this is probably my least favourite just because of the splodgy bits, but that's just me. Some of you like the splodgy bits, so that's okay. So, so then well, let's just get rid of all of this and then hopefully it'll brighten up the light a little bit for you. I've changed a couple of settings on my phone, so at least I don't think it's been going dark light, dark light, dark light like it used to, which is quite good. Um, but I am working behind the scenes of, you know, along with all the other stuff that I'm doing to try and work out how to best get my desk set up with proper microphone and um, like a better microphone, should I say, and also with um, better lighting. The lighting is what's, it's just my house, it's just weird in its lighting. So, but you can see, can't you? So then here's the other one that we did. Here's some purple fringe. Um, and then here's some more purple fringe. So these are the two that I did um, before, as I say, which I really, I really quite like these ones. It's just a little, this has got a hint of Calypso coral on it um, with those copper elements. So look, I'm finding bits of those everywhere. So those are quite nice. Um, and then these are the three that we've done today which have come out okay, I think. To get that. Oh, no, it's still shiny. Let's get that out of there and bring that on down there so we don't have the shiny, shiny going on in my lighting. There we go. So you get these note cards and envelopes and you get, I think, I want to say 10, 10 card bases. Let's just double check that. 20 card bases. Oh, I must have used more than... Oh, yeah, of course, because I've, I've done a few others. 20 card bases and envelopes free with a £50 order. £45 order. But I'm going to say £50 because if you do 50 you also get my Abigail Rose tutorial as well. But it's up to you. 45 or 50 will get you these cards and envelopes for free, which I think they're lovely. Um... And I just think it's great for people who are maybe starting out. You know, you you might have um, card packs and envelopes and that's what you prefer using. You've not made your own card bases yet. So these are a great way of adding more to your stash so that they're not just plain white, if you know what I mean. Um, oh, look at that. I've inspired Julie to use some detailed dyes. Good. Excellent. I'm glad. Oh, thanks, Kay. And Denise. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, Jay. It's lovely. I'm so glad you've enjoyed it. So as I say, um, you can shop with me. It's very easy to shop if you're in the UK uh, or if you're in the Netherlands. Um, you can shop with me too. You can also, if you're in Ireland and Belgium, then uh, hold hold the phone because we are coming to somewhere near you soon <laughs> Stampin' Up will be launching in Ireland and Belgium so please subscribe to my emails and you will get notified when that happens um, and if you want to join the waitlist for card making know-how then hop over to here and you can just sign up and join the waitlist for that paper party is still going it's very simple it's all queenpipcards.com forward slash paper hyphen party. And if you're in the UK um, or if you're in Ireland and you want to wait for the when we launch, but you'd like a catalogue, you can also just pop in happy mail um, at the end of queenpipcards.com and I will send you a catalogue out. I've been sending them out in batches. The last lot went out on Friday night. So some of you should be getting your catalogues now uh, that have requested them. And if you're a brand brand spanking new card maker, please sign up here because I will help you navigate through some of the things that we've talked about today, uh, share with you some more inspiration, share with you some useful guides to help you get started. Um, even if you don't want to join um, card making know how, jump in and do that and you will get some useful information from me. So let's do this let's take oh no not quite a little bit more not quite that much a little bit less there we go so let's give a card away don't who loves a giveaway right so we all love we all love a giveaway um so i'm gonna hide that 
if you have commented, <laughs> oh, do oh, darling, you want to get the stamp set? That's fab. Well, you know you can. And the dies. Yes, it's a lovely bundle. And actually, I don't. Oh, hi, Sue. I didn't see you there. Hello. Um, if you get the, I think that's probably enough to get a free a freebie. Let me have a look. Here we go. Let's have a look. The bundle. Well, in the UK, darling, because I know you're not in the, in the in the UK, it's £48.50. So you would get the stamps and the dies for £48.50 and you would be able to throw the note cards in for free during celebration. So there's a bargain. I love it when they organise it so well like that. Stamping up's great doing things like that. OK, so if you have um, commented, then I'm going to hop over and do stream yard let's do a giveaway so if you've commented no matter where you are whether you're on facebook or youtube in a group or on my page you will be in this giveaway so let me share my screen so you can see the giveaway uh where are we here there we go share that okay so we're going to pick today's fun note cards with stamps and dies indeed and we're just going to go 12 entries are we ready drum roll please here we go dun, dun, dun. i love this bit i love giving away love 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 giving away my cards to people who have enjoyed watching hey sue you're lucky winner you are that's two weeks in a row i think <laughs> Excellent. Congratulations, Sue. Well done. Uh, you'll be getting one of these in the post. Do you like dotty backgrounds or not dotty backgrounds? You you let me know and then and then uh, we can I can I can sort you out, if you know what I mean, with the one that you like. Because <laughs> I like to be helpful. Um, right. Well, that's it from me this week. Uh, as I say, it's lovely for you guys to be here. Thank you so much for joining me today and um oh, oh sue says draw it again oh bless you honey all right let's do that then are you sure let's do that that's so kind if it comes out as you again though you're going to get it whether you like it or not <laughs> all right so let's share this okay draw again here we go here we go here we go here we go who's it gonna be who's it gonna be dun, dun, dun. It's Debbie. Hey. Oh, oh, there we go. Thank you, Sue. Debbie, you're now our winner. Um, so I will make a note of that and you'll be getting the card in the post. <laughs> so now everyone's got to say congratulations to Debbie because it's Debbie that's going to get that. But um, yeah, it's so lovely. Um, I do. I do. Um, I do love seeing you guys chatting with each other. So thanks ever so much for watching and have a lovely day enjoy your lunch or wherever you are in the world whatever time it is for you and i will see you again same place next week see ya bye